Hey! Hey, Bash! <laughs> it's the 9th of September, 2018. And some very interesting things have been revealed here to us. Uh, yeah, this is pretty crazy. And, and what this is, really, is just exposing this darkness to the light. And using their own ways, their own methods to expose them. And by exposing them, they are manifest to light. I have an understanding of how <laughs> the Satan works in this world and just how pervasive and cunning the spirit of the devil is, man, and how he just lures and snares the flesh at, at every turn. So you got to be very vigilant. Remember, we see through glass darkly, though. Okay, so this stuff I'm showing you is, is just tangible. It's something you can literally look at yourself and say, wow, there really is a very, very dark and very sophisticated uh, entity at work here that is not working in, to my benefit. And, you know, to think that this life, uh, as long as you can go along to get along and, and not be affected by this darkness, you know, it, it's first of all, that's never true. And second of all, uh, this life is very short, you know what I mean? And uh, there is an eternity beyond this. And, you know, you got to choose, you know, where you want to spend eternity, okay? I personally choose Jesus Christ because he promises us, he promises us the new Jerusalem, the new world, a world of righteousness and peace with no darkness in it. You understand? And, hey... That's where I'm going. But this is crazy, man. I uh, This is all new to me, too. All just came to me within the last day. So <laughs> I'm going to try the best I can to show this to you. But they're having this, uh, I call it a ritual because that's what it is. But it says, experience symbolic way of light moment at World Trade Center Oculus on 9-11. Okay. Now, just real quick, the way of light, that is a, a blatant mocking of Christ, okay? This is a ritual. This is just a continuation of what I showed you before. It's that massive. It, this, they, this is just a giant ritual going on here, you guys. And I'm just going to lay out some more of it here for you as best I can. But on September 11th at exactly 1028... The interior of the World Trade Center Oculus will be filled with natural light, a symbol of light shining through the darkness of tragedy, okay? Now, first of all, they post at 639. That's kind of crazy to me. Updated it at 701. An Oculus. You need to know what an Oculus is. And in plain English, it is an eye, okay? It's used in architecture, especially an apex of a dome. In archaeology, a design representing an eye, as on a funerary pottery found in megalithic tombs of Europe. The oculus, okay? So that's where this is taking place. And I will show you the actual oculus in New York City. That is this beautiful little structure right here. And that is the eye of the serpent. That's what it is. And at 1028, which is 2018, okay, a.m., the interior will be filled. And how will it be filled? The eye will open. Visitors to the World Trade Center Oculus on September 11th will have the chance to experience a symbolic moment in honor of those who died in the attacks nearly two decades ago, actually 17 years, still rebuilding at World Trade Center. Rebuilding. Remember this? We remember. We rebuild. We come back stronger. Okay. Next Tuesday, September 11th at exactly 1028, 2018, the same time the North Tower fell during the attack. The same time the North Tower fell. Now, there's a lot that I want to show you guys and share with you guys. But you need to remember a lot of this stuff. And, 
And by visually seeing and understanding these things, you know, it gives you... It, I'm, I'm primarily talking to those of you who don't believe that there's a devil and that there's a God. And that God gave us a savior to get us out of this pit. Because that's what it's turning into. You, and there's no escaping this through men. It, it's Jesus and Jesus alone. So this is what happened at exactly 1028 on 911. Okay? They demolished the North Tower of the World Trade Center because that's what it was. It was a demo job. Okay? The same time they fell, the sun will shine through the Oculus skylight, meaning this, the eye of the serpent. They call it a skylight, okay? To illuminate the interior of the building in a natural glow. In a path referred to as the way of light, the sunlight will make its way across the floor. It will slowly open the eye along the exact axis of the building, meaning North Tower. The moment acts as a powerful symbol of light that continues to shine through the darkness. You see the upside downness here? We are shining the light on their darkness. These people are living in darkness. You understand? And when they designed this uh, building following 9-11, the positioning of the Oculus was very intentional to make this poignant moment possible every year. Now think about that. All right. Now, there's a few things that we need to understand before I show you just a couple more things. Right. The, the attacks. OK. We got to remember Flight 11 was the one that went into that North Tower that this uh, ritual is so centered upon. It's centered upon the North Tower at 1028. All right. Flight 11 was the flight that hit the North Tower. Now. Just bear with me here, but everybody's heard a lot of this. But Flight 11 had 11 crew members. It had 76 passengers, which is a 13, okay? Or 7 times 6 is a 42. Both numbers represent rebellion in the Antichrist spirit, right? Now, there were 47 minutes in total that, that left Logan Boston Airport and hit the tower, which is another 11. And the, these things go on and on and on. The point is, is just to illustrate the ritual behind it. A tangible thing that you can literally look at yourself and, and realize that there is no way that this is not a planned and contrived set of circumstances here. And let's never forget either. They always say, never forget. Well, I say never forget the ones who perpetrated these things, okay? The actual flesh and blood that were behind these things. Do you understand? There is darkness coming upon this world. And you need to be right with God. You need to, I'm just telling you. Don't forget these people, okay? God's not going to forget them either. But now I lost my place. Oh, yeah. I was telling you about the Elevens. And, and the fact that this is all falling on uh, the, the Rosh Hashanah or Feast of Trumpets, you know, uh, there's several names for it, Yom Teruah, and the fact that there's three different sounds blown for a total of nine blasts repeated 11 times, 9-11. And I'm not going to fully get into the Israeli connection to 9-11, but just, just go look up the interview of the dancing Israelis. And that'll give you a lot to chew on. Okay? The interview of the dancing Israelis and how they were there to document the event. Okay? So this is known as the last Trump. Trump will be in Pennsylvania at the same time that the eye of the serpent will be opening. Okay, now just bear with me because there's a lot to this, but I need you to understand one particular thing. And we were talking about the the phi, right? We've gone through the phi, the and now 
the phi and its relationship to the tetragrammaton. And I'm not going to get into the details, but that's essentially the unspeakable name of God, Yahweh Vahe, right? The tetragrammaton, 26. And you need to understand this just because of what I'm going to show you. We have all these things going on. We have Trump in Pennsylvania. And I showed you uh, a lot to do with that already, but this is pretty doggone interesting right here. All right. Now, the Oculus. Let me take some of these lines off of here so you can see here. Let's go to the Oculus because the Eye of the Serpent will be opening here. And in my spirit, that is, this is the giant altar right here. This, this whole scene has been made into a huge, gigantic, satanic altar. With it complete with groves and monuments and serpent eyes. So just remember the 26 because what I'm going to show you is pretty interesting. So we'll go directly from the Oculus and we're going to go out to that tower where uh, Trump is going to be. Okay. The Tower of Voices. Okay. And just, just understand what you're seeing here. I just try anyway. Notice how it's 260 miles at 261 degrees. Okay. Now this is where Trump will be. And this is the Tower of Voices. And you're 26 that I can't stress enough how much this means in this dark power and principality world. This is a ritual, a huge ritual. So there's your 26 twice. Okay. Now I'm going to take it down to the Pentagon because that's where the other plane hit. Okay. And this is the eye of the serpent watching all this, remember. And I'm going to take you to their little monument here. Okay. They have all these groves again with these little chairs for each one that died and everything. Okay. And, and notice, notice the distance. 206 miles. Okay, 26 at 232 degrees. Okay, so you have 26, 26, 26 all over it. And just one last one I want to show you. And that's from this vain show of Lucifer's. And we'll go back out to the tower where Trump will be on 9-11. By which they're, they are dedicating that today, don't forget. This will be dedicated today. And I want you to look at the miles, okay? Pretty pretty harmless, right? 128, although it is a 911. 8 and 1 is 9, 8, 2 and 1, 11. At 311 degrees, which I find extremely interesting all in and of itself. But when I was led to do this, you guys, this is just the way it works. 206 kilometers, 26. You just, you just can't, you know what I mean. So, again, we're looking at a ritual. I do not know how or when it will play out, but it's on. And this is just God showing us the time we're in. Satan is moving right along as God is moving. Because that's what he does. He wants to counteract God. He wants to trick the people into thinking that they're not seeing the things of God. Do you understand? He sets up all his gatekeepers, his NASA's, and his everybody's compartmentalized. Okay? This is how it works. There is a power in this world that will lead you to death if you do not know Jesus Christ. It's that simple. You're not going to hide from this. You're not going to run from it. And no man is going to save you from it. Jesus Christ. The only way. The only way. So, the Eye of the Serpent will be opening on 9-11. <sighs> Crazy stuff, people. Seek Jesus with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength. Because he's at the door. Time is short. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 